Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's continue our Complete Beginner's Guide to Subnautica here in 2023. Alright, well, we're doing beautifully, um, and I think I want to start out by playing this radio message for us. This is Aurora. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine. So that's great. So we got the radio up and running, and in 100,000 hours, no problem at all, we'll have rescue. Uh, so that's a joke, and it's meant to be uh, distressing indeed. So let's go ahead and um, get to the business of using our new tools. So the radio will periodically ping with a notification. The game's UI will let you know that there is an incoming message that you can come pick up. And you might actually get uh, information from people who have, uh, or let me just say, you might get distress signals from other survivors that give you kind of like quests to do, to go check out certain locations, and it encourages you exploring further away from our starting point. But what we're going to do now is just really take advantage of our new tool, the scanner. And when you go around, you'll see that the targeting reticule will change to this kind of like spinning radial dial. And in the bottom right corner, there will be an icon that pops up that says scanner, meaning you haven't scanned this yet, you can scan it. And so you hold R2 and you scan this acid mushroom and you get a database entry for it. Writhing read weed we can get this entry now a lot of these entries um are just giving you story and lore about the game and they're super in interesting this the story in this game is phenomenal and you can learn a lot of it if you want to take the time to actually read through the database entries so i recommend doing that but also you can scan um life forms uh but they sometimes they're harder to scan than others if they want to move away you have to kind of keep aiming on it now, the nice thing is, uh, oh, where'd you go? Got it. Shuttle bug. This will give you information about the shuttle bug. So I can go into this screen and it says um, it's a common scavenger and it gives you some, you know, um, just kind of like zoological information about this thing. But some of these entries are super helpful and lead to the discovery of new technologies and blueprints. So you want to scan everything. Okay, it's just a great idea to scan everything that you can. Here is uh, some table, table coral. Okay, keep an eye on our O2. It's dipping, but you see how much time we have now with our new tank. It's fantastic. And there's the enormous Subnautica moon. Uh, there's actually two moons that you can see close by, but this moon right here, I take my time to look at it because sweet fancy Moses, it is big. There's the aurora burning away. There's the two moons. And let's go back down. We're going to continue to scan. There's a lot of other things that we want to build, okay? Coral shell plate. Let's go ahead and scan that. So I like to just go around here, giant coral tubes, and just scan everything that we can, all right? A lot of this is giving us story, but you're going to find things that when you scan them, um, you will actually get technology or blueprint parts so you want to look for wreckage from the aurora wherever you're at especially boxes with things inside them and that will help you out tremendously you can't scan everything but if you are scanning something and it gets out of your uh line of sight or out of your targeting reticule um don't worry because the progress toward finishing scanning it um doesn't go away so like the peeper it's really fast it's running away but if i just am persistent i will be able to scan it like that all right so let's see we got a knife so let's talk about using our knife i'm going to cut this coral tube up a bit all right and let's get some table table coral as well uh see if i can find that again before my o2 kicks out here we go. Bam. So you can chop this up. 
and then you have to push X to pick it up. So it's like you cut it off, and then you push X to pick up the table coral. And I'm going to go up and just get some air. And go back to the life pod really fast. And go inside. I got a bunch of bladder fish, by the way, so that we can make some water. And let's look in our inventory. So I'm going to go over here. And we got new stuff, which is table coral sample and coral tube sample. So coral tubes are a base ingredient for bleach. Okay. Um, and let's see what we can make with some of this stuff. Uh, the medical kit fabricator is still working. That is fine. Let's open this up. And if I want to make, okay, bleach, I need salt. If you use salt with um, coral tube samples to make bleach, you can make water um, in a different fashion, okay? Uh, here, I'll show you right here. Water. Um, so you can just create disinfected water by using bleach and you make two 12 ounce containers with bleach so it's a great way to get way more water than you know bladder fish but it requires salt so you know we got to go find that no problem uh and how we doing let's look at our vitals we are getting a little hungry so what can i cook um i can cook a boomerang to eat and remember, you want to really try to eat as soon as you can so it doesn't start to go bad. So I'm just going to go ahead and eat this boomerang that we caught and get a little bit. I'm going to drink, fill up our water. Fantastic. Okay. Let's check out our storage container. And it's pretty much full up. We are, we've got plenty of food here. Okay. And we've got plenty of rubber. So that's good. But... We're going to need to perhaps build some more storage containers because our inventory is overflowing. And oh my goodness, the beautiful day. I love when the sun rises in Subnautica. I mean, you guys are playing the game, you know, but this is such a beautiful and fascinating game. And it just really can't be understated how uh, engaging and interesting the environment is. And look over here, what's that? It's a chunk of the ship floating. No, it's a tape, it's a coral sticking out. Okay. So I got tricked, but that's okay. And it's so much better to look around during the daytime. Mm -hmm. Now, you'll notice how even though I don't have the scanner out, this veined nettle, now that I do have the scanner, you can see in the bottom right, it's telling me, hey, you can scan this. Now I will. I like to scan everything. You never know. All right, great. Okay, so let's go ahead and explore a bit and see if we can find ourselves... Oh, there's a brain. Brain coral. Now, I want you to check this out. You see how the brain coral makes bubbles, okay? Um, periodically, if you get hit by these bubbles, the brain coral actually generates oxygen. So these bubbles you can breathe. If you watch my O2, okay, um, you see how it goes up by 10 every time I'm hit by one of those bubbles. So brain coral are like awesome things to have uh, to help with your oxygen. You can actually try to move them around. Um, I've moved them to like be near my area and this guy's gonna wanna come fight us. Um, and there's really nothing you can do. You just kinda have to take the hit on the crayfish. Luckily, he did not hurt us that badly. Um, so that's fantastic. We scanned him a little bit, but we definitely want to uh, pick up this cave sulfur, and we can scan the sulfur plant. Boom. And let's just kind of look around for any rocks or anything else in this tunnel. Remember, whenever you go into a tunnel, you want to keep your eyes on the sky so that you can find the surface if you start to run out of O2. Another thing about O2 that you can do, I never do this, but you can do this, okay? Which is you can carry a separate um, O2 tank with you and switch to it for like emergency oxygen. Um, I don't do it just because my inventory space is so precious, but it's certainly something that you can do if you want to explore um, ah, here's salt. Oh, no, it's quartz. I lied. 
I was so excited for a moment. But quartz is good on its, in its own way, anyway. So, um, oh my God, we're gonna take we're gonna take a hit to the face right there. But that's okay. And luckily, we've got a way out right here. Let's go get. Oh God, watch out for the gas pet gas guys. These dudes want to fart their gassy stuff all over. But that's okay. And you can look at them in the front and just try to scan the gasopods. Okay. By the way, you can kill those if you want. You can kill pretty much anything um, if you really want to uh, with your knife. But uh, I typically don't. And I'm scanning this, and that is a blue palm. Okay. I got plenty of O2. And, oh. Let's scan this guy. I just like doing a lot of science, so I scan, like, nobody's business. Okay. Um, then I feel like I really know the area. And you can get information about, like, what resources drop from what. And got some copper how about that all right we need some lubricant so i'm gonna go and um cut the vine with our knife okay and we can also scan this oh and we got a radio signal you could see in the uh kind of like upper right oh and this is what i wanted to show you too so check this out this is a part of the vehicle bay and if you find parts of the ship you can scan them and you see how it says Mobile vehicle bay fragment scanned. Overall progress one of three. If I get two more pieces of the vehicle bay and scan them, I will then learn how to make it and figure out the blueprint so I can gather the necessary resources. Uh, this is a limestone chunk. I'm going to just scan it and break it, pick up some titanium, and let's go back here. Now I'm going to show you, uh, by the way, with the limestone outcrop, uh, you notice how one thing that doing this is helpful for is that if you scan it, it says the assessment means like you can get titanium and copper from limestone. So it's really helpful to have it scanned so you can remember what type of outcropping you're looking for if you need a particular resource. Like right here, what is this? Is this uh, limestone? Right. So there's like um, shale and different other kinds of... Uh, outcroppings and, and, and rocks that you can see that you can break and they have obviously different resources within them gold silver titanium all right etc okay so i'm looking around i'm seeing is there anything that catches my fancy and here's some scrap how much space do i have i have enough space to pick this up so i will bam you can also scan that salvage uh which i should have done i'll scan this salvage just to get it scanned and let's go back to our ship all right and let's play the radio beacon okay uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Okay. Signal location uploaded to PDA. So we just found the location of Life Pod 3. Okay, like I said, the radio distress beacons will come in and you're going to get some information. If you go to the beacon manager, um, now, uh, our life pod is always here, but signal three for the life pod um, is in the shallows, and it says the crew's been reported that their sea glide is damaged. Now, the sea glide is something that we want. It's an awesome transportation device that will speed us up significantly. It's kind of like you hold on to it, and it has a motor, and it will just make you be able to swim a lot faster. It has a light on it and a map, so it's really, really good. Uh, so we'd like to get one. So if we investigate over here, we might find pieces of the sea glide which we can scan so that we can learn how to build it. Now, if I change the color of this, let's just say I change it like to red so it's easier to see. If I start moving around, okay, 
I should be able to theoretically uh, see where that is. Now, let me check out my inventory. Right. So I need to go to the fabricator, and I'm going to make resources, and I want to make... Um, I can make fiber mesh from the creep vine samples that I cut, okay? So if I make this, all right, I've, I don't think I've made this yet. Um, and I can also uh, make some glass. Good. And then let's go here, electronics. Um, I can make some copper wire from my copper. Uh, I can also make titanium, which I want. Uh, good. I'll make some more titanium from my salvage. And then if I go into personal um, equipment, okay, um, I can think about trying to make a radiation suit. So it takes fiber mesh, which I just made some. Um, and I could try to make a rebreather, which requires fiber mesh, which I have, but it also needs a wiring kit. So um, I'm going to need to get some lead and some more fiber mesh. And for tools, okay, um, if I want to make a Pathfinder uh, or a flashlight, I'm going to need to uh, create a battery. And a Habitat Builder will let me build a base, uh, but I need a computer chip, wiring kit, and battery. And deployables, we are going to make some waterproof lockers so I can store stuff. Heck yeah. All right, um little thirsty little hungry so let me just open this up and take out um a peeper and just grill it up oh here we go okay and i'm gonna go ahead and eat it immediately great and i'll drink water great i have too many med uh, kits, I don't need to carry this many on me, so let's go ahead and start deploying some more things. All right, so um, how much water do I have saved? Uh, luckily, I do have some water out here, and I have the random bin, and in the ore bin, we're going to open it, and I can fit, you know, for example, one in here. I'm going to uh, drop this right here, and let me just rename this one. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. And edit the name. Let's just call this one medical. Oh. Medical is fantastic. All right. And then um, I'm going to just get out of that. And I'm going to go into the locker. No, not pack it up. Yeah, just slide this over. And we'll go ahead and put a couple in there. Now, I still have some more ore. So, I'll make um, another one for ore by just going like this and dropping this out. And let's see here. It's down here now. And let me just rotate the camera till I get to edit the name. And we're going to call this um, also ore. Or, all right, and then just open it, and I'm going to knock in the copper, uh, all the titanium, glass, stuff like that. That looks good. Um, that quartz is not really ore, but that's fine. And then random, what you got in here? Oh, okay, well, I put some copper over here. Oh, I do have some lead. Now, I can't remember how much lead you actually need to craft the suit, okay? But also, remember... Uh, we changed that setting in the previous episode, thanks to the helpful tip by a viewer. So the game is paused. We don't have to worry about O2. We can just chill out here, and I'm going to show you some stuff. I'm going to put away all these coral samples, um, this cave sulfur, things like this, uh, fiber mesh, and my rubber. I need all that stuff for crafting eventually, but I don't need to have it in my bag right now. Now, if I go to blueprints, you can always go here. You don't have to go to the fabricator to see what it would take to make something, right? So I need creep vine seed clusters to get lubricant. I definitely want that. But let's go down to uh, the radiation suit. And I need one more lead and one more fiber mesh to get that. Okay. 
you want a radiation suit if you want to go to the Aurora. And by the way, just for early game goals, going to the Aurora is something that you want to do. There's a lot of necessary uh, technologies and things over there, but it's dangerous. So you want to prepare before you do that to make sure you're ready. Okay. So I'm going to... Oh, by the way, there we go. There's the red beacon. And you can see right th this way... Life Pod 3 is over here about 300 meters away. It's actually not that far. So we could swim that if we want to. But before I go exploring in Subnautica, I always like to make sure I have plenty of food, plenty of water, and I'm, like, kitted out for it. So I'm going to do some just more work around my base. Uh, looks like we found... Uh, what is this? This is just metal salvage? Sure. Really can't have enough titanium. And here we go... I'm going to get my scanner out. 30 seconds. All right. I'm going to go right up because there's a box I want to scan. But I do want my oxygen. I don't want to, you know, die. There we go. By the way, if you're ever worried about dying, just save your game. Trying to scan this guy without getting into his gassy. There we go. So you can just push start and you can just say save. And then that way, you know, if you die, you can just load your save. And oh boy, give me that. We want some more water all day long. All right. And let's see. What was in here? It's a sea glide fragment. Hey, we were just talking about that sea glide. You only need two fragments. All right. So we have 50% of the sea glide found. Um, I'll pick this up. I'm just chilling, bouncing around the floor. Oh, here we go. We want the lubricant. Okay. So we need the uh, clusters. Uh, let's get some O2 from our buddy, the Brain Coral, while we're standing here. And just see where there's one, two, three. Thank you. Now the music changes because there's this guy. This guy will come attack us. All right. So you got to be careful of that, dude. Just kind of hang back and keep your distance and... There's that salt. Beautiful. There's more salt. I gotta get it. I want it. Keep an eye on your O2. I'm going pretty deep right now. I'm 47 meters deep. And I'm picking up stuff. There's eggs. You do not need the eggs. This is a sandstone chunk, which is going to have different resources inside it. Um, you can see we got silver, which is beautiful. We actually really need that. And um, I'm going to scan the creepvine seed cluster. Try to get this done before we get attacked take as many as I can, got them, and I'm going to actually use my knife, um, and inventory full, okay, let's get out of here, oh, I think somebody's on me, all right, I'm out, just going to swim away, oh, what is this, did we, did we scan this one, let me look, all right, the danger guy is not here at the moment, all right, well, whatever was in here is gone, so let's bail, Let's get our O2. Ah, okay. Let's get home, people. All right. That was awesome. So we can't do it yet, but later you will get a technology um, that lets you set a beacon so that you can, like, remember a place on the map and go back there if you found something cool. All right, but what we can do is go over here to the fabricator and make ourselves some lubricant. You got that right. So I'm going to make a bunch of lubricant. All right. And also, uh, with the lubricant, okay, we can make... Uh, I will make some water. All right. So we will need lubricant, and we're going to start storing it away. But we don't need it necessarily at the moment. Now, we do need two creepvine seed clusters if we wanted to make uh, the Pathfinder tool. The Pathfinder tool kind of goes along with what I was saying, where um, if you want to map your way to something, you can use the Pathfinder to kind of get around and, and locate better. But it's not really good for big distances. It's much better for if you're in a cave, you can leave a trail for yourself with the Pathfinder tool and 
mark your way out so you don't die. So a lot of players really, really enjoy it. I actually don't use it, um, but it's something that you can make and you might find it super helpful. So uh, I will just mention it. Uh, okay. Now, I do want to show you, though, because we got that salt, I'm going to go outside, and we're going to go into, uh, let's see, oh, where's my other ore? Here it is. I'm going to dump in this, just a bunch of titanium, and you're going to have this at the beginning. You're just going to have, like, so much titanium, um, but it's good to have because you'll need it to build stuff uh, later. And I'm going to, uh, I mean, like, for example, if I wanted to build more lockers, that's titanium right there. But we're going to take out uh, these coral tube samples, just like that. And we're going to, uh, let's see, put in the silver. We can make wiring stuff. We want more silver and copper, basically. Okay. And I'm going to go to the fabricator, and we're going to just make some water. So when you make water with bleach, okay, well, we make the bleach first. Bleach, bleach. Right. So we can now go into um, sustenance water, and we can make this disinfected water, okay? So this gives you... That's the key. She's so kind. We do want to prevent against eventual death. Okay. So at this point, you notice that, okay, when I take the bladder fish, I make this six ounce water bottle, which gives me 20 H2O. These babies give you 30 and you get two for every bleach. So finding coral samples and salt is an amazing way to get your water supply. Uh, excuse me, to get your water supply stabilized. I had to sneeze there, but that water is nothing to sneeze at. You see what I did there? I'll be here all week. Okay. Um, and let's see. I'm going to go ahead and go to my water bin. And you know, let's just fly up so I can kind of actually see what these all are. By the way, storage gets way better when you get a base and you can build lockers and have things organized with with signs and stuff like that. But right now, we're kind of like, eh, you know, um, this is what we've got. And random, can you fit anything? You can. I'm just going to put this in there like that and the salt. Great. I'm going to drink. I'm like actually super thirsty at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and drink one and two. Now, I'm not going to drink, obviously, any more. I don't want to waste it, but that's good. Now, because it's nighttime, let's have some fun. And by fun, I don't mean that container. I mean, um, that is good. All right. Let's go. And let me go to the fab. And I'm going to make... Um, Oh, to make a battery, what do I need? Oh, I need acid mushrooms. Oh, -ho. um, I'm using, um, oh, that's gold. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I thought that was copper. That is gold. We're rich. We are so wealthy. All right, let's go here. I know I have copper. Here it is. All right, let me switch it. And we need some acid mushrooms. Well, luckily, there's about a jillion of them right here. I'm going to get a battery going. Because I want to make a flashlight. Because, you know, it's night. And let's explore where we can look around. Alright, so let's go to here. Make ourselves a battery. Yay! And then go here and go um, personal equipment. No, no, no. Tools. Now, for the flashlight, we need glass. I have glass. I stored it away, though. Did I put any in here? You know, I did not, but I did put acid mushrooms in here for the future. I need to cook a peeper anyway. Also, um, I'm going to make a locker. You'll notice that down here, 
um, and deployables. The Sea Glide now shows up, as does the Mobile Vehicle Bay. You want to make both of those, but we don't yet know the ingredients because we need more scans from them. And of course, by the time I get my act together to make um, the flashlight, we don't actually need it, but we'll have it for the future. Let me go ahead and just drop this baby. And this is just going to be rando for now because I want to get rid of these seed clusters. I don't want to carry them. Put the fiber mesh, all this titanium, that rubber. Yes, that looks great. Okay, so we have the battery. We just need to get ourselves some glass. And I believe I put it either in random or I think I put it in my second ore bin, to be honest. That's my first ore bin. Open this one. Yeah. There it is. Hello, Fabricator. Can you help me make a flashlight? Yay! Alright, so we got a flashlight. But now, um, I also want to cook this up so it doesn't go bad. You'll notice that um, we're kind of filling up on our items on the bottom and remember if you want to use the flashlight you just assign it um, by pushing triangle and then you can like rotate where it is i'm fine with it being right there on my rotation um no no yeah yeah, yeah. confirm x all right and then uh eat that and now all of our vitals are like doing beautifully and if you want to use a flashlight check it out got a flashlight and it really really helps even if it's daytime it's useful and in caves and stuff, it's super useful. Just know whenever it's out, of course, your battery is draining. All right. So like in here, for example, you're like, hey, I can't see very well. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. And look, oh, here's some clusters. What do we got? Limestone. Titanium. I'm not even going to pick it up. I'm disgusted. Copper. Beautiful. All right. Let's see. Oh, look at this place. See, this is like a giant... Um, I'm going to turn off my flashlight. I really don't need it. This is a giant copper uh, coral tube, rather, and it's got all kinds of good stuff inside. So I'll take some titanium, of course. I'm not, like, totally above it, but we, we really want copper. The exotic metals, like anything that's not titanium, I should say, uh, they seem to just go really fast. You don't need a ton of quartz, I will say that, but... I mean, copper and silver, I fly through that stuff. Gold, you know, you want to just have uh, a good supply of that. And let's just take a gander. Yeah, here comes a bladderfish. I'd, I'd like you. Aw. Yeah, I got him. I'm terrible at fishing with my hands. And just know... Again, I don't want to spoil, but you will have much easier ways to do things like that as you go. All right, so let's explore. So sometimes it can be hard, at least for me, I'm terrible with orientation. Um, you can use your life pod kind of as a guide and you can like triangulate with the life pod three, for example, to help get around. Uh, but it'll be a lot better when we get some more orientation devices. For now, I'm just chilling and exploring. And this is what I highly recommend you do at this phase. You could be way more adventurous. You could go toward the Aurora, but I really wouldn't until you get enough um, protection from the radiation. You could also go toward the life pod if you want, okay? I myself want to just find um, some more silver, uh, some more salt, and more blueprint fragments while I'm looking around, just get a lay of the land so that I can be, like, much better equipped when I go into the great beyond. Quartz. All right, I'm going up. 
Running low on the old O2. Get me, get me refreshed, please. God, that feels better. All right. And, you know, life pod three. I can just kind of like make my way towards it. But what I recommend too is when you're just, you know, swimming around looking, you will just randomly find something like this is good, but I think we already saw this. Um, points of interest that can contain absolutely phenomenal surprises and upgrades for you. Usually these come um, by the way of big chunks of the Aurora ship that have broken up in the uh, exploding crash toward the planet. And ooh, is there something in here for me? Ah, oh, it's empty. That's so sad. Boxes like that are useful. You, you, know, you could find stuff in them for sure. Um, but sometimes you can find segments of the ship that are way larger and have really good stuff inside but you don't really know where those are. They're called crash sites. And you just kind of, at least what I like to do is just, you know, swim around, looking around and, oh, here, look, this is a big section. And here we go, just on cue. I swear I didn't plan that. This one doesn't look super good, but it's an example. I'm gonna get some O2 before I check it out. It's an example of what you can find as you go out there. Bigger, strewn sections of wreckage all right so let's check this box out nothing here and what you want to do is just have your scanner ready and look at every section of this to see if there's anything that we can learn from and right here is something um uh, we might not actually be able to learn it right now but oh here we go grab trap fragment okay sweet all right we got one of two grab trap fragments perfect Okay, so grab trap is definitely something that we want. I just mentioned the grab trap earlier, but I didn't tell you what it was. It's a way to make, oh, okay, we gotta go back. Radiation detected. You will start losing health. You gotta go back. So that's the visual cue that you've gotten too close to the Aurora's um, reactor leak and that you have to have the radiation suit. So we need lead as well uh, to make that happen. The grav trap is sweet because it's basically, as it says, a gravity trap, and it just pulls in things that are around it. So you can just use it to fish, and it will just bring a bunch of fish to you. It's very nice. Okay, that's just a floating limestone. Ah, okay. Oh, okay, let's get out of here. All right, sorry. Sorry. Getting too close to the old radiation. We're getting mutated here. And what is it? Yeah, copper. Copper is just great in and of itself for batteries because um, you will need batteries for like all of our gear, all of our tools that take power are draining it. The scanner, by the way, does not use energy while you have it out. It only uses energy um, if you're scanning actively. But if you need new batteries to recharge your stuff, that's what this is for. Oh, 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 what's this? Sea glide fragment. Hey. We can now build a sea glide, people. We just did it. So this will be a super, super... Oh, what's this? A beacon fragment. Great. All right. I need to get O2 before I do anything else. So now we know how to make... Um, a sea glide and that's a huge upgrade and this is kind of what i like to do at this stage of the game explore gather food and resources just making some circles oh grab trap this was a really good wreck site we found three different fragments here and we haven't even explored everything fully yet um so let's see if there's anything else to get here empty empty Oh, beacon. And we found the full beacon. Great. New blueprint acquired. 
Nothing in here. Anything in this box? Yes, more sea glide. Now, if you have the fragment already, okay, we already know how to make the sea glide, but you can still scan it, and it just gives you some resources. Usually just titanium, but it's like free titanium, okay? And what's this one? Oh, mobile vehicle bay fragment. Okay, I'm going to get it. I am taking radiation damage, but I'm going to get that anyway because that's awesome. So now we're two of three on the mobile vehicle bay fragment. How about that? Really pumped about it. All right. So, titanium. Let's go back to our ship. Where are we? We're over here. What we want to do is look at the sea glide and really consider building it. Um, ooh, oh, okay, never mind. No, that's just sulfur. That guy's like, I can't wait to explode on you. I'm trying to kill you. We don't want that. We want the sea glide because it will help us swim so much faster so that we can make a trip over to, for example, Life Pod 3 uh, in a reasonable amount of time. All right, so let's look at it. I'm going to go ahead and go to the blueprint screen and check out the sea glide. Moving down, it's right here, and all it needs is battery, copper wire, lubricant, and titanium. Actually, we can just make this right now. Um, this is why stockpiling resources and just farming resources is so good, because when you do get a new blueprint, you're kind of ready to go. So I can go ahead and make copper wire. Remember, I picked up so much copper from limestone outcroppings recently. Um, and I can make a battery. I just need some shrooms. But I got so many shrooms right here. I saved them up. Give me them. Um, I'm going to eat a peeper. So let me go here. Let me just go make some basic... Yep, battery. And then I'm going to go to food. And I'm going to just cook the peeper. And I'm going to go to water, make some filtered water. And we're going to just hit the peeper and the water, top ourselves off. I'm going to jump out really fast and go into um, this locker to get my... Um, oh, I put it in random. Get my lubricant out. Okay. And let's see. I'm just getting out random stuff. I can check. This is the smarter thing to do. Just look. What does it need? You can also pin the recipe, by the way. Um, but we have everything. So that way you don't have to go check that screen. It'll just be pinned uh, on, your, on your HUD. And you can make it. But let's do it. Deployables. We can also make a grab trap really easily. And beacons. Um, and beacons are beautiful for marking our location, and we'll talk about that in a future episode, but they, they function just like the beacons that are set on the map. And that's good advice. Like, she is correct. This will, um, the sea glide will increase our range, okay? I'm just going to drop it. And then it's right there. You kind of just have the sea glide like that. And it's like, boom, I hit the ground. Um, and you can pick it up. Now, you don't have to um, <laughs> drop it. You need to assign it to a quick bar. So um, dropping it, bad idea. Quick bar, good idea. So I'm going to take, I'm going to put it on my quick bar. And I'm going to actually put it instead of my um, fire extinguisher. I don't need it right now. So now I've got it. And if you select it, okay. You see I start, like, you look at it first, and then you kind of hold it, and boom. You can toggle the lights by pushing R2 to turn on the lights, and you can push the up arrow, as it says, to turn off the map. They actually changed the controls on that, which is way better. It used to be super annoying. Um, you had to toggle through everything. Now, you have a flashlight built into your sea glide, and look how much faster I go. It's a thing of beauty. So as she said, we can explore further now but you want to be careful. Make sure you have enough um, supplies to do so. And make sure you don't get near that radiation until you find some lead and make your radiation suit. Everyone, 
I hope you're still enjoying this series. We're rocking and rolling. We're making so much progress with new tools, and now we can fly around with our Ski Glide. Thanks for watching. Take care.